Queens Brooks come under pressure. In third is Dicer Diamond, and at the final flight, it's Burning Victory by six to seven lengths, and didn't she jump it well? Queens Brooks second, and third is Dicer Diamond inside the last half furlong and kept up to her work. Burning Victory is set to get back on winning tracks as the odds on favourite. She's made it all up to the line. Burning Victory by a diminishing couple of lengths from Queens Brook, Dicer Diamond in third. Queensbrook's come under pressure. In third is Dicer Diamond, and at the final flight, it's Burning Victory by six to seven lengths, and didn't she jump it well? Queensbrook second, and third is Dicer Diamond, inside the last half furlong, and kept up to her work. Burning Victory is set to get back on winning tracks as the odds on favourite. She's made it all up to the line. Burning Victory by a diminishing couple of lengths from Queensbrook, Dicer Diamond in third. It's Haxo, about to be challenged by Walnut Beach. Be Fierce is in third and then mispronunciation, and it's Walnut Beach and Shane Fitzgerald coming with a well-judged run. They've headed Haxo in the last half furlong. Mispronunciation is next, and it's Walnut Beach and Shane Fitzgerald collecting for Pat Flynn. Second is Haxo, third mispronunciation. Be Fierce next, ahead of Gasson Du. It's Haxo, about to be challenged by Walnut Beach. Be Fierce is in third and then mispronunciation. And it's Walnut Beach and Shane Fitzgerald coming with a well-judged run. They've headed Haxo in the last half furlong. Mispronunciation is next and it's Walnut Beach and Shane Fitzgerald collecting for Pat Flynn. Second is Haxo, third mispronunciation. Be Fierce next ahead of Gasson Du. It's Ramillies with a widening lead over the waltzer who was in tidy and then broken bond inside the final furlong. And it's Ramillies by five lengths to the waltzer in third is broken bond. Ramillies is a double hot off the press for Paul Town and has won in decisive fashion. Also a second score for Willie Mullins. Beating the waltzer, it's very close for the third between on the near side, Sammy Smart involved there with broken bond. It's from Millie's with a widening lead over the waltzer who was in tidy and then broken bond inside the final furlong. And it's from Millie's by five lengths to the waltzer in third is broken bond. Ramillies is a double hot off the press for Paul Town and has won in decisive fashion. Also a second score for Willie Mullins. Beating the waltzer, it's very close for the third. Between, on the near side, Sammy Smart involved there with broken bond. Heading for the final flight, change of leader. My Immortal picks it up from Chow Bella. The leader, a good stare at that. Going in between horses is Port Storm. Young Dev is still running on on the outside. 100 yards left to go, and it's My Immortal now beginning to stretch away from Port Storm, Young Dev, and Chow Bella. As My Immortal extends a good week for Barry Connell. Port Storm second in third, Young Dev. Heading for the final flight, change of leader. My Immortal picks it up from Chow Bella. The leader, a good stare at that. Going in between horses is Port Storm. Young Dev is still running on on the outside. 100 yards left to go, and it's My Immortal now beginning to stretch away from Port Storm. Young Dev and Chow Bella. As My Immortal extends a good week for Barry Connell. Port Storm second in third, Young Dev. Going with Emily Roebling is Martha Devine, then Angel's Dawn at the final flight. Not much between Emily Roebling and Martha Devine. Five in front of Angel's Dawn and then St. Donna inside the final 100 yards. And Martha Devine and Sean O'Keefe have battled back on the inside from what looks sure defeat. And it is a win for Martha Devine from Emily Roebling. A length and a half split them at the line. Third Angel's Dawn and St. Donna in fourth. Going with Emily Roebling is Martha Devine, then Angel's Dawn at the final flight. Not much between Emily Roebling and Martha Devine. Five in front of Angel's Dawn and then St. Donna inside the final hundred yards. And Martha Devine and Sean O'Keefe have battled back on the inside from what looks sure defeat. And it is a win for Martha Devine from Emily Roebling. A length and a half split them at the line. Third Angel's Dawn and St. Donna in fourth.
command chain with coming there on the inside, the grey, the Neffler. Three lengths back to Fox LaBelle, stepping badly at the last, the Neffler command chain is trying to take full advantage of that. The stride for stride, the Neffler on the inside is coming again. The Neffler and Ono O'Connell are extending close to the last 50 yards. The Neffler by three parts of a length. It could be a length at the line. It is a length and a half. In third, Fox LaBelle and the three well clear of crack on Corey Gregg. Robin DeVita, Star Island Glory. Command chain with coming there on the inside, the grey, the Neffler. Three lengths back to Fox LaBelle, stepping badly at the last, the Neffler command chain is trying to take full advantage of that. The stride for stride, the Neffler on the inside is coming again. The Neffler and Ono O'Connell are extending close to the last 50 yards. The Neffler by three parts of a length. It could be a length at the line, it is a length and a half. In third, Fox LaBelle and the three well clear of crack on Corey Gregg. Robin DeVita, Star Island Glory. Wild Hunt second, then Misha Raftery inside the final 150 yards, and it's Indy Bell and Darrow Keefe in the lead by four to five lengths. It was in the balance as to whether they would have won or not. It's Indy Bell winning from Wild Hunt and Misha Raftery, well cleared of Sweet Will and Ramandera. Looking back to the final flight, the dreams alive. It was in the balance as to whether they would have won or not. It's Indy Bell winning from Wild Hunt and Misha Raftery. Well cleared of Sweet Will and Ramandera. Looking back to the final flight, the dreams alive. And Imagine comes there to Elusive Guy. On the inside is Yariam, still closing his aide de com, racing to the final 200 yards. And Imagine is sent on by Jamie Codd from aide de com, who's running on the outside of Elusive Guy. And then Yariam, but it's Imagine and Jamie Codd winning the last by five from aide de com, Elusive Guy, Yariam. And Imagine comes there to Elusive Guy. On the inside is Yariam, still closing his aide de com, racing to the final 200 yards. And Imagine is sent on by Jamie Codd from aide de com, who's running on the outside of Elusive Guy. And then Yariam, but it's Imagine and Jamie Codd winning the last by five from aide de com, Elusive Guy, Yariam.